I said in the earlier videos, I've been in my father's loft for 22 years, something like that. 20 to 22 years. And uh, I finally got it I'm out. And you've seen the last couple, three or four videos. Some smashing signed comics and some trading cards. And like I said, I don't know what's in these. So I'm going to get out and have a check. So I don't know what's in these. First look, really. Since I've got these, so what you see is what I see first. Oh, okay. So we've got some Lord of the Rings stamps. Signed by Sir Ian McKellen. Just there. Nice. I do like the Lord of the Rings films. Brilliant trilogy. One of, probably one of the best trilogies ever. Then we've got not been opened these star trek trading cards from stride box international 1993 so you're talking about 20 30 years old these cards i think they are or is that just stride box could be these cards are from stride box mystery series i can't remember there we go, just show you so you guys can see. And we've got some golden eye uh, trading cards. These look like they've been opened. I think you I may have seen some in the last box of the trading cards I had, so some there. These could be all my doubles, I don't know. Sean Bean, one man who gets always killed in all his movies, near enough. Piers Brosnan. So, I don't know where they come from, but I think I saw some in the last video. I'm not sure. So, that's some trading cards there. They're from Graffiti. There you go. Okay, we get this bag out. I don't know. Again, I have no idea. And we have comics. So these one aren't bag or boarded. So we've got Star Wars Phantom Menace. I think that is. Yep. And don't, that is signed by the first one. So it's a mini series four of them and got the next one issue two sorry about the glare and that again is signed i think i've got a certificate somewhere here oh and you've got issue three with darth maul on and then you've got issue four with Matthew Portman of Padramine Queen and on the certificate, they're signed limit series of 7,500 signed by A.I. Williamson, Rudolph Domingo, Henry Gilroy, and Dave Stelly. Nice, I'll have to get some boards on that. Still with Nick, and we've got to see this comic full of them in a binder. Let's have a look. So we've got She, Shy, the Whaler Warrior, number 12, and that is signed by William Elliot, 250 copies signed. It's nice. Okay, and then we've got She, Side Blade, number one. And that is signed by 
David Mack and Terry Moore. They're into 2,000 copies. Nice. What an interesting one here. And this is from Legend Comics. One of three Dark Horses. Monkey Man and O'Brien. I've never seen this one. Anyone know who the Monkey Man and O'Brien is? Please let me know. And this is signed by Art Adams. 150 copies. The next one we've got Marvel Comics. Number one, Hercules. uh direct edition i don't know when this was done but again i haven't seen these forever and it is limited to 100 copies signed by tom defalco oh we have kabuki it's an interesting cover that one and that is again a series of 6,000 copies signed by creator, writer, and artist David Mack. Oh, okay. Get them out. We have a 350th Uncanny, Uncanny X Men Gambit foil cover. And that is signed by Stuart the Boudou. There's a limit to the 500 copies. That is a very nice one. Then we've got Dark Horses. Hair to the Empire. Number one of six. I've read the book, read the comics as well. Very nice. And this is signed by Mike Barron, and uh, 2,500 copies were done with this signing. I read the Null by Tim Zane, brilliant book. Let's get these ones out, can't see through it. And we have that Gen. It is Gen 13, signed yeah, you there, by Jim Lee. Ooh. I have 250 copies signed. That is very nice. Only a couple more of this lot. Let me just get those two comics together. Ah, here we go. My fault bag. So you got Star Wars X Wing Rogue Squadron. I've got the uh, raw copy of this upstairs, and this is signed by Tim Board Bread Street, and it's a series of 1,500. And then this one, Star Wars Tower Jedi, Fall of the Sith Empire, number one of five, Dark Horses Comics, and it's signed again. And that is signed by Kevin J. Anderson. Limited to 1,000 copies. Signage. Brilliant. And the last one here. We have. Gambit number one. Of the four limited series. Another Gambit one. And that is signed by Howard Mackey and Klaus Jansen. Uh, 1,500 copies signed. Very nice. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one because I've got more I'm going to do. So watch out for the rest of the series coming. And we'll see you soon.